Trey, you were thrown into a situation not really used to at the college level, but uh, can you just evaluate what this whole day was like for you and, and what those 38 minutes were like? Yeah, um, I mean, I knew what I had to do. I just want to come out here and compete for my teammates. Um, we were trying to get the win. We, we fell short, but um, I thought we competed um, at a high level. Um, I'm proud of the guys uh, competing, but um, we're on to the next one, and we got, we got to watch the film and learn from it and take everything in, but move on to Michigan State. we got to be ready for them. Trey, what, what, what is it like when, okay, you wake up and all of a sudden you find out five teammates were suspended, a couple starters, and, okay, we got to try to play a game. Just what's that like? I mean, it's, it's unexpected, but um, you got you got to adjust and um, find ways to try to win the game. And I, I think I thought we did a good job of that, um, of adjusting. Um, and guys, guys, were, like I said, we're competing um, all night, and just, I think I said just adjusting to the change in rotation. So, did you talk to the guys that were suspended, or did you let them know how you felt about it? Um, no, I mean, I, I don't really want to talk about that. It's not my not my role to talk about that. You can talk to coach about that, but I'm not going to address that. Just as far as getting, you know, getting ready for the position itself, uh, what, what did you guys, what did you have to take on, basically? What did you have to sort of learn how to do in the course of today? I mean, did you have to figure out play calls? I mean, what all goes into getting ready to just to play point guard when you have them? Um, I mean, we start to our game plan, and coaches trust me. Um, I, I try to go out there and make plays, but I think uh, just playing hard as the main thing is just go out there and compete. Um, and I thought we did a good job of that. And um, we had a game plan, we stuck to it, and we just we fell short, so. Should have you ever gotten two flagrant fouls before? I mean, it was kind of weird. No, I haven't. I, I mean, not. what do you think caused that? Um, I mean, it was the hook and hole calls. Um, and I'm not really familiar with those, but I, I got to learn from them um, and not do it again so I don't so I don't pick those up. How oh, that drought from the 18-minute uh, to the 13-minute mark where they went on a 13 row of what? What was misfiring for you guys, or what do you think went into some of the offensive execution at that point where you guys could stick? Yeah, I mean that's a, it's a tough spurt right there, and we gotta we gotta find ways to get the ball inside to trace and race. Um, I, we weren't, do, I thought we weren't doing a good job of that for a period of time, and we gotta do a better job of that of getting the ball inside to them. Um, like I said, just keep feeding them. I think that's that's one thing we need, we need to do better. Okay, last question. Anything? Trey, how important? Well, you got off to a great start. Uh, how important was that for you, just from a confidence level and just feeling good about things that you got off to the good start like you did? Yeah, it was a good start. Um, I wanted to get out there um, and show them and give them my presence. But I think we all got off to a good start. and uh, we, were, we were out there competing together, um, trying to get stops. And that, that's one thing that really led us to get off to a good start was being able to get stops early. So. All right. Thank Thanks. you.